Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks to the success of my last video on how to clone your SSD or hard drive onto an external media using Anway Backupper, I've decided to revisit the topic through another update video on how to do that in 2023. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. After connecting our drive, our destination drive, to our computer, let's start on with Backupper. And on the left panel right here, we are going to click Clone. Now go to System Clone and select the destination partition that we just plugged in. I'm always going to warn you that all data is going to be erased. Just click OK and head on to the next one. Here, click SSD alignment if you are using an SSD. Now, before we start cloning, we are going to check out the space that's available and that we have used up on the drive. So we know how much data roughly we are copying. So we can see that we are copying roughly about 35 gigabytes of data. And since the drive that I'm copying to will be of the same capacity as this one, the free space available will be somewhat the same. Okay, with that out of the way, let's start cloning. Okay, now that it's done, we can exit out of our backer and shut down the machine. And now let's boot up the clone copy and see if the clone actually works. So to do this and for the sake of good screen capture, I'm going to use VMware to do all of this. So first things first, we're going to create a new virtual machine. We're not going to care about the virtual disk since we are booting up from my USB drive anyways. I'll just speed the clip up to where I boot up the virtual machine. Upon startup, press delete or any other key that gets you into the BIOS of your machine. In my case, I'm using VMware, a virtual environment. So I'm going to press its BIOS key, F2, to try to get into the BIOS. I didn't get it that time, so let's try again. And from the boot menu list, we're going to select our EFI USB device to boot from. And again, I'll save you the time that this machine takes to boot up for the first time. Now that we've booted up, let's enter our password and our credentials to log into the system. A quick thing that I want to point out while our system is loading is that we are not suffering from any screen resolution malfunctioning or anything like that. Because on our source virtual machine, on the virtual machine we copy from, VMware Tools is already installed so it got copied over. Now that we are in our system, we can explore a bit to see that the clone actually completed successfully. So we can see that all the way from desktop icons to our apps to our total storage occupied is roughly the same as the old system. So we are sure that everything got copied over. And with that, this video is effectively over. Thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.